Hello everyone, this is Amira from Amira's Beauty Channel. Um, I have a very quick haul video for you guys. Um, again, I ordered something from Selfridges. Uh, this time I ordered three of the Bobbi Brown Luxe Eyeshadow Rich Sparkles. These are single eyeshadows, uh, very luxe as the name suggests. They have very good sparkle in them, and I only have one of these uh, from a year ago in the shade Moonstone, and I really enjoy this. The reason I ordered these from Selfridges, though, is because I have that shipping in place for the entire year. I paid a flat fee, and um, these shadows are $10 less um, in the UK for some reason. I think they retail for about... 38 or 39 dollars a piece here and in the UK they retail for actually 29 dollars or 28 dollars US dollars a piece so I don't know why that is so it was a little bit cheaper um, to get them from there plus I got one um, single eyeshadow from Suku that I wanted to try uh, still kind of new to Suku and I'm kind of exploring this brand uh, my previous video I showed you guys the blush palette and the eyeshadow quads that I bought this time around I bought one eyeshadow and I also have a foundation that I got it's the Suku come on focus it is the extra rich glow found cream foundation in the shade 002 what happens to be it happens to be the lightest shade in the range this was the most difficult thing about choosing a foundation from Suku from their web, from the website. Um, there aren't many really good, um, reliable swatches online either. Swatches are quite confusing online, I'll be honest. Um, their shades differ in different foundation formulas. This is the Extra Rich, Extra Rich Glow foundation is what this is. Um, and they have different kinds of different different ones, um, different formulations, and they all have different shades, slightly different shades. So that made it very confusing because a lot of people who had posted their swatches were for other foundation formulas. So I don't know. I had a hard time, but I eventually ended up getting the lightest shade because I saw somebody else using this um, on their face. And um, it helped quite a bit. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with the foundation first. I'm going to show you guys this. So it's standard Suku packaging, it seems like. And it has all the ingredients listed. Um, and then on the back, this is very difficult to focus because how because the black packaging and for some reason it doesn't focus very well. But I will try. It says it's made in Japan, and then um, on the back, there is also some information about it saying, do not stay too long in the sun, even when using a sunscreen product, keep babies and young children. So it's basically just warnings, um, nothing very specific that would say, keep me away from trying it. So I'm going to give this a try, and I'm going to show you guys the bottle. I'm not a fan of the packaging because it's a jar. Comes with a little spatula in there, if you can see. It's a very cute looking bottle. And um, it has a bit of a shimmery frosted tint, um, tinted glass. This bottle is glass. Um, so it's a really nice bottle, but I don't know why it's not focusing. Here we go. And. I feel like this is not a very good or easy foundation to travel with because of the packaging. And let me see if I can open this up and show it to you. So there. Come on, please focus. Here we go. So there we are. If this is their lightest shade, um, they are not covering a lot of their bases, in my opinion. Oh. 
Anyway, so all it says is that it's a Suku Extra Rich Glow Cream Foundation. Made in Japan. It's good for 12 months after you open it. That's what it says. Um, I did apply this on my face today. It's a tad bit light for my skin, but it's not too off. Um, this is probably the most yellow shade they have. And I will post a swatch on my Instagram, which will be linked down below for you guys. And none of this is sponsored. Nothing is sponsored in this video, just so you guys know. But anyway, um, I will also update you guys on what I thought about the foundation after wearing it a few times and letting you know. Anyway, so the next Suku thing is this eyeshadow. One eyeshadow. I believe this is from their fall collection. I don't know if this is limited edition or not. But it is... Um, wait, I have the box still. Just Again, there. this is the box. Same kind of box. And it's called a Suku Touch Tone Eyes Eyeshadow in number 16, Samakarashi, I think is how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. Made in Japan, and there we are. And this is the, the shadow. I Wait, here. It's a very fall shade, in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> And I'm quite excited about this. I want to put this all over my eyes and see how it looks. Um, and I will do a swatch um, as well afterwards. And then I'm going to show you guys the three Bobbi Brown Lux eyeshadow I got. And I believe there's a slight different formula for all of them. So this one... Okay, these two are in Poison Ivy and Liquid Mercury Lux Eyeshadow in Rich Luster. And then this one is in Rich Metal and the shade is called Serpentine or Serpentine. I have one from before, which is also a Rich Sparkle and it's called Moonstone. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadows. I use it as a topper on top of other eyeshadows and it looks really nice. The color is really pretty and it does stay, there is some fallout for sure, but it does um, stay on quite nicely. So here we go. It's very, very smooth. Like you can feel it when you put your finger in there, how smooth, excuse me, how smooth this is. I've only ever used it with a finger. So I don't really know how it works with Brushes, generally, I prefer to put shimmers on me with fingers. So I'm going to start with the new ones, and let me show you guys all three of them. This is Poison Ivy, which is a, sort of like a metallic green shade, but it's a rich luster. Rich luster. So it's not sparkle, it's called rich luster. Um, then the next one is also Rich Lux Luster, but in Liquid Mercury. It looks like a taupey shade. And then the last one, Serpentine, is a rich metal, it says. It looks very sparkly, too. But here we go. It's like a grayish shade. So, I'm gonna... I'm going to um, swatch all of these, starting with Rich Luster Poison Ivy. Wow, the pigmentation is very nice. It's a green, moss green shade. At least that's how it looks to me. And then the next one I'm going to swatch is the Liquid Mercury, which is also a rich luster. It's a very taupey shade. Wow. I'm loving this shade. And then the rich metal shade in Serpentine. Quite excited about this one. It's 
it's a very gray metallic shimmery gray to, on me here we go so this is moonstone which is a sparkle and then these two are lusters poison ivy and liquid metal and then this one is a um liquid metal well sorry rich metal shade is what it's called i think yes it's a rich metal and it's in serpentine and i am really excited about these also i'm gonna swatch the Su Q1, the number 16 in, um, how do you say it again? Ooh. I need the box again. Number 16 in Samakarashi. This is what this one's called. I'm going to use my little finger for this. Oh, I'm liking this shade. It's, it's like a pumpkin shade. Give it one more swatch because my finger is too small. Here we go. So these are all the shades I got. Anyway, everything will be posted in uh, my Instagram account. So if you're interested, please head over there. My um, ID is Amira's Beauty Channel is the same thing as my YouTube. And I will put a the name down in the description box below for you i will mention all the names and everything all the information i have on these so you could maybe get your hands on them now bear in mind these shades that i showed you are from last year they're not brand new shades so they might run out very soon so if, if i wanted them i would get them soon and um please give me a like follow um, here and on Instagram. I would really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's haul. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, please do that in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Anyway, this is Amira signing off. Take care now. Bye-bye.